Okay, so what we want to do is go over how to mount the accessory clamp actually onto the frame and not use the clamping mechanism that it comes with. It's more of a permanent application. A permanent application. You're not and always having to take it off. Exactly. And also, on this one, this is my original saw, the Felker, that I always used when I was a contractor. It has a round frame. And this mounts perfectly on a mount fr round frame, but it even mounts better on a flat frame. And in this particular application, if I mounted it here, I felt that the saw hood would be a little too low, so I wanted it up a little higher, so I decided to mount it or screw it right into the side here, and you can see that I've done that right there. So this is what you do. You take this accessory mounting clamp, you just take this off like this, flip the knobs off, and they're pretty long because we made them so it would fit on everything, and then you pop the screws out, just like this, and then I'm even going to take off this part. So it's all loose. And I'm going to mount it right here. Now, this is not normally where I'd mount it. I mounted it right here. Of course, I could bring it more forward, just like that. You can now, mount it at any location. Yeah, you any want, location you want, want forward you want and back. Catch more spray or whatever. Exactly. So I've got my impact gun, and I've got my. These are actually fast cap screws, our power head screws that are self tapping for metal. And I'm just going to hold it on there like this. Make sure my nuts just where it needs to be. Put it on there. Okay, one done. Aren't you glad that I'm gutsy enough to do that on camera, Mark? <laughs> I'm confident I can get it done. Okay, so there's one. I'm going into some very thick frame here, and as you saw, that still worked fine. So now I go ahead and put this on. And you can see really clearly here our ratcheting that we have here. We have these fine little precision adjusters, and they go in there. And the nice thing is when we design this, it's the same knob for both the bracket that mounts on here as well as this adjustment one. And now you put it on there, and you're set. And you put that on both sides, and now you've got a place to mount the saw hood. And it was very simple and very easy to do. And of course, these brackets will go on any machine. We had people put them on lathes, you know, table saws. Anytime you want to collect dust and there's an application, you can mount this on there. You've got the place now. You've got a built-in accessory hole and you're done. Exactly, exactly. Another, another thing that was brought up to me out in the field is a guy was cutting a large piece of travertine. Right. He had his, his saw hood adjusted over a little too much. And I said, all you have to do is loosen this up and bring it Move over. Move it over. You can cut from very large material. Good. Okay, and a couple other things we want to draw attention to is that we've got our little overhang hood pushed back now. So we can bring it all the way forward like this, but sometimes on the saw hood that might be covering a little too much and you want a little more light. So you can just push this back like that and it works well. Another thing we want to point out is these Velcro closers right here, which actually hold the saw hood together when we collapse it, are also very effective for tying things together to help with, to, the, funneling. To help with the funneling effect. So we do that on both sides. And now let's go ahead and make a cut with this saw. And you can see that here all the water going in the back. So I'm going to make one more cut so you can see just how much water is going to the back there. The good thing is it's all going into the bucket and not but look at that, it's all running back down into the bucket. We stay clean. Again, we're not masking off and taping off everything. Very effective product, Mark. One great thing, idea. One thing that also is great about this is what you have here for all these applications is you've got a structure. You've got a, a, a tent already. Mm -hmm. So whether you're indoors or outdoors, you can take a tarp, throw it over the top. You've already got something there, so it's not going to land on your saw, which I, I used to try and do that. I'd put a tarp on my saw and then try and cut with it. It doesn't work. Got you it. already have a structure here that's flexible and durable. Right. So when you're done for the day, let's say you're on a, a wood saw, you're cutting right. outside, just throw a tarp over it or use it in conjunction with Oh, it's a good point. So if you want to keep it covered up completely. Exactly. That's a good point. Excellent. And then one other thing we didn't mention when we were talking about all the other applications is the other cool thing about this is it's waterproof and it works outside in inclement weather. So you don't have to be afraid of working outside when it's raining. you got your tool completely covered or for the most part covered. So well, it works well for that. Well, that would be one of the that. concerns with, with tile guys that talk at the 
tool shelves is this is waterproof and you can see right there with this plastic film I'm not sure if you can get that on camera but it's got a coating on the coating inside on it, and the water just beads off and runs right down exactly and as with everything with fast cap a lot of the improvements that we've made mark has been as a result of the comments we've got at the trade shows that you've heard so we are always wanting to make this product better Tell us what we need to do, and we'll make it better because we want to make the perfect product, DVC, developed by a contractor and developed by a cabinet maker. Because that's what FastCap's all stop about. Stop the struggle. You got it, Mark. Awesome job. Thanks, Paul. Thanks a bunch.